So you just had braces on. How long did you wear them? Since 2012, March. March? So that makes almost three years. Almost three years. Right. Your teeth were twisted. Is that right? They were crowded? Is that why you crowded. had braces? Right. Do you get headaches at all? I do. Can you point to where they happen? Mm -hmm. Up here. Up there. Recently, I have some kind of neck stiffness, but yeah, I yeah, I know, never right? thought. Never thought about it. I know. Your teeth. You told me earlier they were sensitive. From what age? From my college. Which college is years. Twenties. To your, to your, from your 20s time. on, right? Mm -hmm. Are your teeth sensitive now? Mm -hmm. how, how sensitive would you say on a scale of 0 to 10? 10 is horrible, 0 is nothing. If you drink some ice water. Oh, close to 9 or 10. 9 or 10, really yes. bad? Yes. Has it, would you say they're more sensitive now than before the braces? Or? It's more sensitive than before. Okay. You just had them off a few hours ago. Yeah, one and a half hour ago. An hour ago. When they took them off, they were cleaning your teeth, and you made a comment to me that they were really sensitive, right? Mm -hmm. Were they using like an electronic cleaner? Yes. And it was it was curling up your toes. Yes. Pretty bad. For a long many years, because I had tro trouble from when I was young, yeah. so just automatically I don't even try it. Right, because you trained yourself. Right. To avoid it. Right. Yeah. I don't. I don't like ice cream. I don't like any ice, and then. I don't even brush now, my if teeth I fix this though. for you, I don't want you to blame me if you gain weight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't ever try in an extremely cold at all. I mean, I don't like it. I have a feeling that's going to change. <laughs> oh my gosh! I could be wrong. Don't blame me. <laughs> you know, this is kind of funny. Then, whenever I run in a colder weather, yeah. and that, the the blow, the air. Yeah, that bothers me too. Yeah, you have to breathe your nose. I mean, because of those sensitivity, whenever I feel it, yeah, it bothers me. So is it that much sensitive? I totally believe it. Yep. Your orthodontist is not going to want to see this video because it makes his job harder. Mm. See where I'm going with this? Yeah. Yeah, right. It's kind of like I'm raising the standard of care. And that's why I can fix those people you see in the videos and other people can't. Bite them really hard to the right and open. Go off to the left and open. Perfect. Yeah, see? That hurts, right? Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to hurt. This muscle is the one that... There's two bellies to the pterygoid. The top belly moves the disc around back and forth. The bottom belly um, helps you protrude and move to the contralateral side. So you went out a little bit further than you normally do. You're supposed to be able to go way up and not hurt, but it hurts because there's excess friction on your back teeth. That's causing a nociceptive response, a painful response. Mm -hmm. So now we get to work, okay? You see, in the orthodontist clear to you. Mm -hmm. Think about what I'm saying. Can he do his job? Standard of care, but it's not good enough. He should be doing this, not me. Yeah. Well, in theory, ethically, you paid him to straighten your teeth and balance it out. Right? I'm not being mean to him. We're singling him out. That's the way they all do it. You balance things out by making things even everywhere, right? You want the front teeth to take a little bit more of a load than the back teeth. That makes the muscles work better, faster, more efficiently, easier. Rest on that. So I'm going to add a little bit of bonding to this canine, which, by the way, you've worn out. This thing, this eye tooth, it's flat at the tip. Over the years, you've worn it down. Mm. So I'm going to make it look like it did when you were 20 and make it work like it did when you were 20. Before, what were you, 0 to 10, what were you before? <laughs> was a 10. A 10 out of 10? Right. Try it now.
What is it? I'll say maybe seven. It's a little bit better though, isn't it? Better. I couldn't even hold it. Yeah. I just said, you know, drink it through the yeah. straight through the try, try to be sure, be sure. What's your number? I would say six or seven. Six or seven. So it was a t in your mind it was a ten an hour ago or less. And now six or seven, so it's better. Right. Okay, because you have a lot of recession in there. The roots are exposed. So there's another reason for sensitivity, but it's helped, right? Right. It was a 10 out of 10, was your number an hour ago. It was miserable? That was miserable. And now it's no big deal? No. I drink it. She's enjoying this. <laughs> she can't believe it. I drink it. <laughs> I, you know, the, no pain. Yeah. But the sensitivity, I feel it because I don't ever try it in the cold sense. Well, teeth are so, supposed to feel cold. You okay. Know, but it's not supposed to be painful. I didn't understand what is the cold sensitivity of teeth. I you know, like it, the pain before. The pain before was because your muscles were stressing them. There was torsional strain going on from too much muscle activity. It was like, it's like a tachometer that's ramped up. You're working too hard to chew. And now we've reset the way things fit. And now the muscle instantly starts adapting. And, it, and that's why it's gonna feel weird to chew for a few weeks. Because you have to relearn how to chew with this relationship. The key here is, with your case, I just wanted to demonstrate to you that the orthodontist didn't dial in your bite perfectly. For obvious reasons, if I'm right with this research, that cold thing is a very good, simple way of testing if there's a muscular discrepancy. And there was. And now you don't, now think about that. You've never in your, since you were 20, been able to drink cold, right? Right. Is I mean, that fair? I... <laughs> right? And when right. you walked in here an hour ago, it was, that was miserably mm -hmm. painful. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand people who... I know bite or chew the ice cream or the right. hard bar kind of thing. It makes you cringe. Right. Because you can't do it. I can't do it. Now you can. Can I? Yeah, we really? But now, see, now you, but understand, dentistry won't believe me because you have a bunch of recession on your teeth. They think it's a recession, but you don't, you have a lot of recession, but now you know, are no longer sensitive. Huh. So they, there's a $3 billion a year industry selling Sensodyne and related med medicaments to try to knock out sensitivity. Right. Based on research done in 1964. They've never figured this out because no one's ever looked at this. And in the literature, cold, hypersensitive teeth, they see that it's related to TMD patients, but they never understood why or how they could fix it. There's been a correlation there for decades, but they've never understood why. And we're starting to understand why. Mm in little old Branson, Missouri.